Good morning. We've been talking about the significance of the ascension of Jesus. Yesterday, I mentioned to you that uh, Jesus focused and wanted his disciples to focus on mission as he was moving toward ascension. Um, in verses 9 through 11, he's going to get specifically, Luke will, to the actual event of ascension. But in that same encounter, he records Jesus' words just prior to him ascending, and we looked at some of those yesterday. Now, I mentioned to you a famous verse, Acts 1, 8. And in Acts 1, 8, in the midst of this ascension context, uh, Jesus gives this commission and re revisits in many ways the Great Commission, but he tells them specifically that he wants the disciples to be his witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the earth. We talked about mission yesterday. I want to, to reinforce something about that with you that's very strategic theologically. Um, in verse 8, but you'll receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you'll be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and the uttermost parts of the earth. Now, witnessing is fueled by the work of the Spirit. Now, Jesus made a point in John's Gospel, chapter 14 through 16, we see uh, different at different points in each of those chapters discussion about the comforter who's to come, the parakletos, the one who is called alongside of. That's what the word parakletos means, para, kaleo, to call alongside of. The one who comes alongside, who calls alongside of us, who stirs us up, who empowers us for ministry, and who produces the fruit. See, it's, it's all the work of the Spirit. So the Spirit moves in convicting, He moves in empowering, He moves through our words by the power of, uh, uh, by, by God's divine power, and He's the one who produces the fruit. That's why it's called the fruit of the Spirit, ultimately, any kind of character transformation that happens. The Spirit is the fuel of mission. And Jesus ascending or Jesus leaving, if we can say that. He's still present with us, but his presence changing and his removal makes the way for the power of the Spirit. And our job is to depend upon the Spirit. It's to not quench the Spirit. It's to not grieve the Spirit. It's to walk in step with Galatians chapter 5, the Spirit. And the importance of this is that our connection to the Spirit today will enable and quicken our ministry and its effectiveness and its fruit. And so what we want to do is think today about what it means to be in step with the Spirit. Jesus' ascension makes the way for the Spirit's activity as a regular modus operandi of the Trinitarian God manifesting among us. Think about it. The idea that he would place his spirit within you is that the power of God, God, his presence, would be at work in this fleshly temple to do great things for his glory. What a privilege. What an honor. And these disciples get invited into that privilege and into that honor. So praise God for that today. But Again, we need to reinforce how serious you've got to take mission today because the Spirit is alive in you. Have a great day.